guys. Can you hear me? Hi, Jen. Jen. Hi, Carrie, Susan, Susan, Nancy, Nancy Kat, Kat, Brian, Brian Shelly, Joy, Joy, I think, think was here. here. <laughs> Is that better? I shut the uh, desktop microphone up. Yeah, okay. I was monkeying with the sounds again, but I still can't get this darn Yeti microphone to work. So I'm mixing up um, Dutch pour base right now so it can rest while we do a pearl pour. And just waiting for people to come in. Hi, Patricia. So I am using some Amsterdam paint tonight, uh, the Naples yellow and the ultramarine violet. You can get those at fluidart.co. We're carrying all the Amsterdam colors now and I'm talking about all of them. Hi Brenda. Okay, so I think that's probably pretty good. <laughs> I know I always do that last squirt. Uh, so, I had a very eventful evening last night. My hot water tank quit working. And it was beeping like crazy. So I had to call a plumber today. And thankfully, because I was already a customer of theirs, so they came and checked it all out. He thinks that it just had a little power surge and it had to reset itself because our water got scalding hot last night. So everything's working good for now. If it starts to act up again, I'm going to have to get a new hot water tank and they're not cheap. He already told me it's going to be over two grand with installation. So let's pray that my hot water tank behaves because I don't want to pay that much. <laughs> Not before Christmas, right? Okay, so I already mixed up the pearl pour paints. Um, we have tutorials on both of these techniques. In-depth tutorials. So, I'm going to be using Deep Lagoon. Old Gold. Beach Retreat 2022 and Deep Lagoon, or I'm sorry, Shelly's Masquerade. I need to get an apron on so I don't make a mess. Susan, Janice, hello. All right. I don't have any canvases prepped, so we're going to do that real quick. I'm just going to do a small pearl floor because I want to use this canvas. So Lily's corners of her eyes are opening. So hopefully by Monday all their eyes will be open and they can say hello. <laughs> little cutie patooties. Now my tape's not behaving. If today couldn't get any worse. Okay. So anybody have any questions before we get started? Like, um, okay, so if you have not caught those tutorials, um, I also have my recipe cards available in the Etsy shop. They're laminated, so if you get paint on them, you just wipe them off. 
There's seven recipes from basic paint mixing, uh, Dutch pour, Fiona flower pour, um, the blooming. Everything's on those recipe cards. So it keeps them on your workstation and safe from wet paint damage. Hi, Kathy. You're not late. I haven't started yet. All right. I got one canvas taped off. So we're going to do a round for the Dutch pour. I got these 14 inch rounds from Michael's I want to try. It's a new size for me. There we go. Brian, I ran out of time. I had the plumber here. Can't do anything with the plumber here. And he was here for two hours almost. We couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. Push the bit off. I don't want to listen to that. I was a busy girl. <laughs> I'm always a busy girl. I made sure I fed the puppies before he got here, too. Brian's going to harass me tonight. I'm going to have to hit him with this hammer. Shelly can hit him with a hammer. She's got access to that. I don't. <laughs> I know you are, Bri. I can give it right back, though. Okay. Pearl pour consistency is pretty much like water. Although you do want to have a bounce on the end of your stick because you have to have some type of binder in there. I do put a little bit of GAC 800 in mine, regardless. But there is Floetrol in there as well. That um, It's not a binder, but it's a paint extender, so it is a little bit of polymer in there. But if you can see, this leaves no trace. It's gone. So it's super, super thin, and that's what you want for a pour pour. Good, I still haven't brought my gloves over here. We'll use Alan's. He's not using them. put it on the right way. Okay. Well, that's awful, isn't it, Beth? We're in the wrong business. But then again, I wouldn't want to be a plumber either. It's a nasty job. So this is the old gold. Super pretty color. And that's from the Frosh Posse line. All of these are, actually, for this one. This is the Beach Retreat 2022. And this is our Deep Lagoon. This is our version of a dark, dark, dark blue-green. More on the green side. And then, of course, Shelly's Masquerade, which will soon be Masquerade, <laughs> is my version of Mysterious from Art Minds that everybody misses so very much. I wish I could make it shinier, but if I do, I lose that color. So, let me take a breath. Oh, Brenda, I wear paint. Everything I have has paint on it. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and lay my base down. And 
Now with a pearl pour, you cannot leave a lot of paint on the canvas because otherwise you won't get any pearls. So I like to get a good base down first. Of course with a hexagon, you have a lot more of those little bitty edges to get. So okay, make sure you get all those touched first. And then I like to see if I have any that's like extreme ac ex excess. Excess. Oh my gosh. I need to go back in the house and come back out. Kathy, I fixed it. I had um, the wrong address, the wrong email address. I fixed it just a little while ago. So it might be there now. Because that's not like you, so I went and double checked and I'm like, oops, I had the wrong address. Email address. those wandered off. Alright. This is going to be fun tonight. I have some other napkins here. I had to move everything so he could get into the... Don't you wish, right? <laughs> I had to move everything so the plumber could get in there. So That was fun. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Deep Lagoon. And I like a lot of color in my pearl pores because the pearls just eat it up. Alright, and then the Old Gold. Gold does not pearl well, but sometimes you can get some really cool effects from it. So what I'm going to do is go right between those. And I probably will finger this just a little bit. So on Shelly's, I'm going to come over that. Just a little bit through the green. Alright, so now we're going to stretch the crap out of this. I'm just going to do a quick little run through, just to give me a little bit of white in there. And now we're going to stretch. I like to go the way that I poured it, so I'm going to of course do the diagonal first. And then I'll bring it back this way. Now remember, you have to keep tilting until no more paint is moving. So I already see I have a pile of gold there. I'm going to bring that off to the top. And as soon as you see your pearls starting to come in heavily, that's when you kind of want to stop. Otherwise, you're going to get too wonky. Okay, so I'm good there. I'm going to bring that paint back to the middle. There's just a very little bit moving. I'm going to hit these edges because I'm not going to be able to get them later. So I'm trying to find some colors that match. And then we're going to let it sit, but I'm going to torch it first. There's a lot of gold there, so I know I'm not going to lose a lot of color. I know you don't, Brian. You tell us that all the time. <laughs> so I did bring a tray over here. So I could set the pearl pour here to develop while we do the Dutch pour and that way we can see 
what it looks like when we're done with the Dutch pour. Oh, too much stuff. So let's let this set and then we'll bring it back. I don't see anything that I want to add or do anything to it yet, but that may change. So I'm going to move it for now. Now you can save this paint and use it as a base again, even with the color in it. But I don't need to because I don't need it. But if you're doing pearl pores on a regular basis, or you're going to do a bunch, use it up. change a lot. Well, it should. Although they are freshly mixed paint, so we'll see. I planned on mixing these yesterday, but I didn't get around to it. And then today, I got so sidetracked. All right. I gotta get rid of those gloves because I cannot do tape with gloves on. <clears throat> So this is a 14 inch round from Michaels. They're not a bad canvas. I don't see any sagging. Sound pretty good. So some of you may have heard, I'm switching days. I'm going to be going live on Tuesdays at 8 o'clock instead of Mondays. I do spray them, Kathy, yes. I spray them after I get the tape on, though, because otherwise you get the canvas wet, and then your tape won't stick. So I switched to Tuesdays for a reason. One is... Alan stays up super late Monday nights, or Sunday nights, to finish work, so he's ready for Monday morning. And, of course, I'm still awake, waiting for him to come to bed. <clears throat> so then I'm worn out, and I'm tired, and 9 o'clock on Monday nights is very late for me. So, Tuesdays I'll be refreshed enough, I hope, that an 8 o'clock is earlier, so I can get done and move on with my week. So Tuesdays will be the live at 8. I will put a video up on Thursdays because Tutorial Thursday will be all over. And then Saturday will be a premiere. Um, I am going to start channel memberships. And these are going to be private tutorial videos or videos that my members would like to see um, things done or even just sit and chat, um, whatever my members want to do. So I probably won't have a ton of members, which will make it more intimate. Um, I could do private lives just for those people that are members. Um, so I can show stuff up close and how to do it. And I think it'll be better for me in the long run. Um, there's only so much you can teach in a year. I think we've covered just about everything that I would run out of ideas and it would be embarrassing. <laughs> so like, why have a tutorial Thursday if you don't have anything to teach? Okay, 
So after I spray the back, I do take a paper towel and I do rub it in. Still, still tight, still tight. And then I already have those over here. But I think for me it will work better. I have more time to film. I can film on Mondays. And I don't have to rush to get done. And then um, Saturdays I can hang out with you guys during the premiere. So you'll get to talk to me on Tuesdays and Mondays. Or so, so Tuesdays and Saturdays. Okay, so, Dutch pour. So I'm using um, three shades, or the shades of gray colors from Jerry's Artorama. This is the violet gray. Super pretty color. Normally I mix a pearl essence with it to lighten it, but tonight I'm not going to because I like it a little darker. And then... We have Ultramarine Blue from Amsterdam, or I'm sorry, Ultramarine Violet from Amsterdam. Nice thin consistency. Um, it's pretty much the same as your Pearl Pour consistency. This is Naples Yellow from Amsterdam. This is Pebio, PBO, Precious Gold. This one is Indigo from Lucas Acrylics. You aren't going to be able to see that. It's super dark. This does pull like a purpley blue, and that's the reason I'm using it. And then, of course, I did not have... I can't find it. My deep violet from Amsterdam, so I'm using the Prash Pussy Morning Pansy. So there's my color palette. Okay, gloves. Getting some pretty pearls. Hi, Donna. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Fatima. Make sure I don't miss anybody. All right, we need a hair dryer. So, let's see. I have so many. All right, so in my Amazon shop, I have a black hair dryer that's just like this. The nice thing with these little, this is a Berta, but the nice things with these little ones, you can push down the cool button and you can zip tie it down permanently so you never have to worry about heat. You can use these for doing blooms too. Let me just make sure it's working. Okay. We have power. I'm going to grab my drink here. Okay. I need to set these over here. Because I think I'm going to make a mess putting the base down. This is absolutely beautiful color. It's one of my faves. Of course, it's full of bubbles because I just mixed it. I'm going to add a little bit more. I 
You want to have enough down so when you blow, it has something to take it. I know I forgot to mix up a little bit of white, but I could probably use some cell activator in there. Since I already have that mixed. Alright, make sure you get your sides. Because when you're blowing with a hair dryer, you don't have that option to tilt. So I'm going to pop my bubbles as much as I can. Okay. Thank you, Shelly. I forgot to tell you about that one. <laughs> I tried to give Shelly a heads up what she needs links for. <laughs> Alright. Let's get a little fancy schmancy, huh? How's that sound? Instead of just doing a trail across, we're going to get a little creative. So I'm going to take it here. I'm going to come down this way. And maybe a little bit here. You want to make sure you get enough paint down. Now see how it's sinking? That's good. That's fine. Alright, let's follow it with the Ultramarine Violet. It's not going to match this purple background at all. But that's okay because it's going to get blown out with the other colors. Now we'll take our gold. Gonna lay that right on top. And let's do our Naples yellow. Because we're gonna put another purple on top. Pansy. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's see how happy I'll be when I blow it out. <laughs> Let me torch it real quick. Okay. I'm going to try it on low first because it's a small canvas. I don't want to blow it all over the place. Gonna go high. too hard to get little precise areas with the blow dryer. I don't have a big surface. If I was working on a bigger surface, it'd be much easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and blow some of this with this. I really want that golden yellow to come out. And I want the indigo to pop up. I should have put this on a turntable. It would have been easier. So I totally lost my line there, didn't I? So we're going to create one. I didn't 
like that pile of yellow there. So what I'm doing is pushing it out. So when I did that, it means I have to tone this here. I'll tone it down a little bit. So I'll just blow it out a little bit. I did love those cells that were there, but sometimes you have to make a sacrifice. Oh, my doggies are barking like crazy. Which means someone's in the puppy area that's not supposed to be there. Got a pile of purple in that middle, don't I? Just breaking it up just a little bit. So you can go in and pull out some little tendril tendrils just to give you a little bit of some place for the eye to wander to instead of a big gob of color. I do Dutch pours much better on a big canvas, but I don't have room for one tonight because I like to really put a lot of paint on and blow with my big hair dryer. <laughs> but we'll take this one. It's still going to dry really pretty. I am breaking up that purple just a little bit. I could sit and do this all day. Just play. Sometimes that's not a good thing. Yeah, they're very hard on small canvas. And sometimes on a small canvas, your background color will eat your colors. So it has done that a little bit. Um, which way would I put that? I probably would do it this way. I'm not digging that indigo blue there. Let me see if I can find some color before I add any. There it is. Just wanted some yellow there. Ugh, such a modge of mod podge of color there. It's like it doesn't belong with the rest of the painting. I can't blow it out any farther either. Um, just don't like that dark spot there like that. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from, sir? dry see what it does I would like to have blown more out they're called shades of gray Kathy from Jerry's Artorama they have blue green violet, red. I, I want to say there's like eight of them. Let me make space for this on my drying rack. Because 
right now I have a few ornaments over there that I sprayed. It's not too bad, guys. We'll just dry it and see what it looks like when it's dry. Not what I was expecting. Let's say that. It's hard to um, it's hard to paint and be creative when you have stress. Um, sometimes you can get some pretty cool stuff when you're stressed out, but other times, no. And I'm at that no today. That I'm thinking too far ahead. But I always admit when I don't like something, and I I'm not a fan, but I'm not hating it either. So I will use those paints up on another one that I might film. Alright, let me bring, let me wipe this up because I want to show you that painting we did last week, the flower pop, because it's really pretty. This is last week's flower pop. It dried really pretty. It's got some beautiful shine in it. So I'll probably, I'm not going to resin this, I'll probably just spray it. But I may go in and add little things around the centers. I may embellish this one because I really like it. It's definitely a keeper. But yeah, I love the colors in this one. All right, let's bring our pearl pour back. So we can play with this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is probably pull some of that green into the gold. And the palette knife. This is the part that's all sped really fast in my videos when I do these. Lives have become like second nature to me. <laughs> I've been doing them for four years, so I don't know. I just don't. I don't get that nervous anymore. Plus, I'm not showing my face, so <laughs> maybe that would make a difference, huh? So what I'm doing is pulling down in the green. I'm going to bring some of that pearl pour paint up, and this will kind of like cloud out a little bit. And then on this one. I'm just going to bring it out. I'm going to play with what's here. Because a lot of this still will change as it's drying. I can come out here tomorrow and I'll have a totally different painting. But you'll notice a lot of artists when they're doing pearl pours, it's always on a time lapse. Because it changes so much in that 20, 30 minutes that they're working on it. Uh, Larry, I'll still be doing them at 7. That way I can spend the rest of my evening with my hubby. We don't see each other very often because he works so many hours. And Like tonight I'm out here. <laughs> we 
don't have a lot of quality time together. Let's just say that. Maybe when the puppies are gone, maybe I can talk him into coming out and pouring one once in a while with us. Just to give him something to do besides sitting in there on his fire. <laughs> so all I'm doing is moving some color around. Susan's leaving us. All right, guys, so now's your chance. Questions on pearl pours or Dutch pours, consistency questions, or, um, you know, the mix. Of course, we have posted the links to the videos that show you how to mix. And those are very good videos, very good tutorials. So I did put a little more interest in that. So those may get some pearls growing on them as they dry. Shut up, Vic. <laughs> Vicky's on my butt about throwing dinner in the crock pot. <laughs> I do not have any round trinket boxes left now. Actually, the uh, the last one I had went to the plumber today because he didn't charge me for coming over. So I gave him a trinket box instead. But he really liked Brian's tumbler. <laughs> but I didn't give it to him. I was being a good girl. All right, so let's do. Let's try, I got a lot of pearl pour paint left. Let's try a flip cup maybe with the pearl pour and stretch the crap out of it and see what happens. Cause I do want to use that up. I don't want to waste that. And I don't know if I'll do another pearl pour anytime soon. So I'm not even gonna tape a canvas. I'm just gonna open it up. I do, Kathy. I do add pearls. Um, I did a big pearl pour for Shelly where I added, it looks like clouds, where I added the pearls all the way across the top. It was really pretty. Alright, let me just hammer those four push pins in. So I can so it be up off the table. So I had to find a new home for a few things that I had over by the hot water tank. <laughs> so that means gotta rearrange the studio a little bit more. And if this fix that we did today doesn't fix. I'm going to have to move that whole side of my studio in so they can bring um, a new tank in. Because I am like right in the walkway. That'll be fun. Hey, Tara. So what I'm going to do... put the pearl pour paint down first and then we're going to do a little mini flip cup on it and then we'll stretch it out and see 
what we get since we uh, have that left over. Hi, Bonnie. So I'm hoping tomorrow I can get some more ornaments done. Sheesh, I'm telling you. I've got like no time to do anything. I don't know how I've survived this long with these puppies. <laughs> They're so stinking cute, I can't stand it. I just look at them and I'm like, I love you, baby girl. I love you, little boy. <laughs> and Ellie looks at me like, hey, those are mine. And I remind her, but I'm taking care of them. You're just the milk bar. Okay. What do we got left? Let's see. Let's put... Mm, let's put Shelly's Masquerade in first. We're just going to layer it. And then we'll do the old gold. And then Deep Lagoon. They're thin, so they're going to sink into each other. We'll put just a little bit of the pearl pour paint in there. And back with Shelly. All of Shelly's. <laughs> gold, gold. Deep Lagoon. So I have almost enough paint in this cup to cover this canvas. But we'll see what the pearl paint does. It should give us some pearls. We'll end with that because that's going to be on the bottom. And a little dose of pearl pour. I'll put this paint in a jar and we'll save it for another project. All right. Yeah, the puppy sounds are great. <laughs> uh, they'll be they'll be here Monday, I promise. With probably with their eyes open. They are all over a pound and a half. They're all 1.8 something. So they are thriving. Alright. I am gonna run that through and make me this cool design. If it stays. Probably not. Let's torch it. Alright, let's tilt. I don't want to tilt my cool areas off too much. I don't know, Tara. I probably won't get pearls out of this, will I? <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Oh, there's some starting up there. But I want to take some more of that off. I don't know which way I want to go. Because I kind of like those, just those little bits. Alright, we're just going to let that sit. Let's see what happens. I got some pearls starting. This is a different gold though, Bri. That old gold is not gold gold. It's like like a I wanna say it's like a gold bronze. Like a weathered gold, maybe. I do like it, but sometimes it likes to marry into another color and you get this really funky color next to it. Sometimes that what is what I don't like about it. You just have to be careful where you place that color. Yeah, 
Yeah, that gold is like here and here, Tara. <laughs> but they are coming up where I did those little um, lip and lips, the lips. Look how pretty that is. I don't do a lot of pearl cores. The one you want to watch is Tara. <laughs> Everybody has their niche, usually, on YouTube. Mine is more like dirty ribbon pores and flip and drags and blooming now because I absolutely love blooming. But you want to watch Pearl Pores, watch Tara and Sarah Taylor, uh, Michelle Galley. Those are your go-tos for Pearl Pores. Um, Dutch Pores, y'all know Molly and Rinska. Um, Tara does do some Dutch pours through her pearl pours, which is really cool. Shelly likes to do pearl pours. She's about due, she said, to do one. She hasn't done one in a while. <laughs> So I'm just going to let that simmer. Thank you, Emily. I appreciate you. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah is quite the artist. I, you know, it's, I could watch her. I actually own one of her pieces. I bought it a long time ago. Um, probably within the first six months she was on YouTube. I watched her create it. I went right to her website and bought it. <laughs> um, it's not really like her definite pearl pores that she does now. But I love when I can get someone's art before they get super popular. Because I have Molly's um, balloon smashes. And she doesn't really do that type of pour anymore. So it's like, huh, I've got something that you did a long time ago that nobody's going to see because you don't do them anymore. So that's kind of fun. Let me move this over and I'll bring that other one back up. So I watched a girl last night, and I've watched her before because she's been in collabs. Um, her name is, well, her channel is Jamie Created That. She did this amazing fingerling pour. The colors were fantastic. I even wrote the colored combo down because it's just gorgeous. So I might try that one. But if you get a chance to watch her, just look up Jamie Created That. She's, she's, she's very good at pouring paint. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Oh, Brenda, I'm sorry you have that Rona. I had it, too. I had it July, July 4th week. And then for two weeks after that. <laughs> yeah, when I first started watching people on YouTube, I watched Ann Osborne. Anne Marie Ritterhoff, Nikki Birch, uh, Melly D. Um, Jenny Post. I'm trying to think of all the old, old school. Sandra Lett. Sandra Lett and I started about the same time on YouTube. Um, I'm thinking who I have paintings from. <laughs> of course, mixed media girl Marcy. Marcy's a friend of mine. Yeah, her mallet smashes were amazing. I miss her. I wish she would come back. But I understand. Some people have reasons to not be here anymore. and But they may make a comeback at some point. Um, that's Priscilla, Brian. Priscilla Betzel. She's still on YouTube. I think she has two channels now. Yeah, Jamie's really good. I 
I was impressed with that pour. I've seen her pour before, and I was like, wow, you know, it's just a straight pour. But that painting that she did last night that I watched was amazing. Yeah, check her out, Brian. She's fun to watch. And her color combos are amazing, too. She definitely knows her colors, her color palettes. Hi, Julie. So I'm not minding this at all. I like the simplicity of this here with our little dash of pearls through there. This I don't think is going to change much more. Maybe we'll get a little more here. But I don't think we'll get anything where the gold was. But you never know. It could change overnight and be a totally different painting. So in order to see that, you'll have to be here next Thursday because I'll show them next Thursday. And... Uh, I think next Thursday we're going to review Flip and Drag and Dirty Ribbon Pouring because those are easy techniques, especially Dirty Ribbon Pours are easy techniques, um, but it's going to come down to how to layer the colors, I think, because that's, people are still struggling with that and I get a lot of questions about, this is my color palette, how should I layer it? So, you know, when you're burying a transparent color with an opaque, you're not going to see that transparent color because it's never going to show through. So, helping people learn how to layer a cup does help. That's okay, Kathy. <laughs> you can always watch it later. But we're going to wrap up this year in review. Um, and then we're going to switch to just having a video up on Thursday nights just for entertainment. I haven't tried the Modern Mas Masters, Tara. I do have some. I try not to buy too many other paints because I have a room full of paint. <laughs> if I need a color, I'll just go make it. Yeah, I have Christine Jessic's piece too, the, the Ellie painting. I, oh my gosh, I cherish that painting. It's so beautiful. All right, guys, well, if you have no more questions, I'm going to leave these sit here and let them develop a little bit more before I put them up. And um, I will see you all Saturday at my premiere. There's some cute little heart ornaments that I did. They were fun. And, of course, it'll be set to Christmas music that Brian just loves so very much. <laughs> Sorry, Bri. <laughs> but I love you guys. Take care. Um, Kathy, check your email. I did, re -up I did update that um, invoice for you. If you don't have it, email me, Kathy, and I will send you another one. But thanks, guys, for the ornament sale Monday. It was fantastic. I appreciate that so very much. Um, it did pay off one of my vet bills, so yay. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you guys Saturday, and the puppies will be here on Monday. Oh, they're so big and so cute. I can't wait. All right, guys. Love you. Bye-bye now. <laughs>